Welcome, welcome, guys. Happy Sunday. Crypto FUD. Let's jump right into it. All right. <clears throat> so I didn't make a, make any uh, content yesterday. Um, just wanted to kind of feel the weekend out. Uh, if you guys did, or if you haven't already, check out my uh, last video, which was posted on Friday, Friday morning. Uh, just labeled, you know, Fed meeting. Because we do have a Fed meeting coming up tomorrow, I believe it is. It's going to be, oh, I'm sorry, on Wednesday. It's going to be uh, Wednesday, February the 1st. So, you know, I point this out because right now, um, there's still, regardless of what the chatter is out there, as far as what they think we're going to be doing, uh, or, or what the, in, the in interest rates are going to be, uh, as far as what they're going to be increased for this round, there's still uncertainty out there. So the markets are reacting. Um, honestly, I don't think that they're acting uh, incorrectly as far as, you know, Bitcoin sitting at 23,530 right now. Uh, we did see a nice little push up. It's not at an, a local all time high. Local all time high is around 23.6. So we're sitting right under it, basically $100 exactly under it. But from what I said on Friday was I was saying, predicting that there might be some turmoil. Uh, you know, I gave out maybe like a 60, 70% chance that it could be towards the downside just because, you know, I think we, um, whenever there's uncertainty, you know, in, in the, uh, as far as the market, a lot of times it'll uh, cause a downward movement, but I didn't call for any kind of local lows or anything like that. Just thinking maybe we might retest some, some key levels, which would be somewhere around 22.6. But I mean, it's great that we didn't even get near there. Uh, we have been kind of, looks like we found some support somewhere around 22.9. And that's great. Uh, we have bounced off of 22.9 probably about five times already in the last week. So that's awesome. Um, as far as support, we don't want to keep testing that because eventually it could slightly break and we could be going to retest other levels, like I said, 22.6. So it's good that we're moving towards the upside. Um, come Wednesday, the market has already pretty much priced in that we're going to be moving up 0.25% uh, percent as far as interest rates. Um, if the feds do you know, pull a fast one on us and, and for whatever reason they go 0.5, the markets are going to react and it is not going to be good. It's not going to be good whatsoever. We probably would see a fast drop down Hopefully, we would be able to test our um, uh, support. I think we'd blow through the support of 22.9, and we'd probably see somewhere around 22.3. If we dropped, if we hit, basically, if we broke through the 22.3 uh, mark as far as support, we're looking at somewhere around 21.4 as far as the next leg of support. And I, I just bring that up because. You know, you want to just make sure that you guys are understand the full realm of what could happen. But even if we went down that path of dropping down, you know, to 21 and some change, it's all right. It'll be okay. You know, at the end of the day, it'll be okay. You know, even sitting at over 21,000 would still be, in my eyes, a bullish area that we're in. Not saying we're in a bull market, but we have been very bullish lately and it would continue even if we did something like that, a leg down to 21.4. Now, if they do, uh, like pr pretty much everybody is priced in and, and what all the analysts are expecting and everybody's expecting like a 98% chance that we're going to do a, a quarter basis point, I think that we're pretty much already baked in. We might see a jump up, but I don't really think that, you know, that there's going to be something crazy like we're going to jump up to 25k it could happen but i don't think we're going to do that but that would just kind of keep that upward momentum probably going because then after that 25 basis points then we're talking about a lot of analysts analysts are speaking that we might maybe have one more um one more time where they're going to go up a quarter basis point or they're also baking in that we could see a fed pause we could see a Fed pause where they want to just pause and not in, uh, increase interest rates this uh, next round, not this round that we're about to get into, but the following round, 
and, and basically let everything bake in with the markets and with the economy and see where we're at as far as uh, inflation and the numbers coming out. So just giving out all the options here. Um, again, as far as like us movement up, if we do jump up, we're probably going to be, uh, let me just see here. We're probably going to be looking at our next roundup would probably be as far as uh, resistance, 24.4 will be the next round of some serious resistance because that was some previous resistance before. That's what we're probably looking at is is um, somewhere in this area right here, this resistance 24.4, somewhere around 24.4, 24.5 is where we're probably going to see the next leg up as far as resistance. If we blow through that 24.4, which is very possible, that's when we're going to be talking about some crazy stuff and we're going to be getting towards that twenty-eight to thirty thousand dollar mark. If that was to happen this early in the year, I mean that would just that I think that would bring out the, the bulls like crazy. And that's when you're going to start hearing people talking about Bitcoin going to some kind of all-time high <laughs> this year. Don't fall into all that stuff because as of right now, if you zoom out, we are still down we're still in a in a bear market where things are just looking great all right so don't get too over your, uh like ahead of yourself or anything like that we're just in this hopefully you guys not financial advice but you guys were dollar cost averaging in and jumping in when we were down and out and it, i know it's hard to buy when you're when it's down like this because you're all you're thinking is that we're going to continue to fall down but that's why i always say dollar cost average in and you, you know, at the end of the day, you might, you know, you might be down, but eventually it'll pay off. Ada, Ada's looking, um, looking good. We did see a local all-time high. I think this was uh, right under forty cents the other day. It was I think it was yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see the twenty eighth. Yep, that was just yesterday. Almost four, basically some some um, some charts were actually did hit the forty cent mark. This one's saying about thirty nine. 39.8. Oh, I'm sorry, 39. Yeah, 39.6 is where this one's saying. But I mean, it was right there. If we look at this chart, it just looks fantastic. It really does. It looks fantastic. If um, I'm going to point out, you know, any kind of uh, next resistance, it's almost the exact same as like Bitcoin, just different numbers. We're looking at some kind of uh, strong resistance somewhere around 42.8, basically 43 cents. And that would be our next spot of resistance. And from there on, you know, you, I think Ada, I've said this before, it's going to have a little bit more of a rougher time getting back up to those really high, higher uh, levels because, you know, Ada didn't just drop drastically down. Like, I mean, you see this drop, but Bitcoin just dropped, you know? So it's like there wasn't, when we get to uh, certain numbers on Bitcoin, there's not going to be a lot of resistance because we're just going to be regaining what we lost there. This, it was like stairs going down. So we're going to have to keep, you know, tackling these stairs. So we're looking at then after, um, after 42, eight, about 43 cents, we're looking at around 51, two. And then from there, 57, one. And then the big one, 64 cents, 64, basically 64.3 cents. These are all going to be big, big key levels that we're going to try to tackle. And we probably will get rejected multiple times before we break them. And this is obviously given that we're, you know, on our way continuously back up. So, and eventually we will. But if you see this, look at this, look how long this, this, this uh, drop was, you know, it wasn't, a, it was just gradual, gradual. Look how small of this area. It feels like we've been in this bullish area for a while now, but we haven't. It's only been a few weeks. So we still have a lot of territory to regain and it's not going to just be overnight. There's going to be a lot of spots we're going to get stuck, but and we're going to look like we're going back down and stuff like that. But you know, don't FOMO out. You know, if you if you were able to buy in anywhere while we were down, even in these areas, this is all great areas that to buy in. You might be down right now, but we're going to eventually get past all this, and we're going to be going back up. Ada, I I have big, you know, I I honestly have big opinion with ada and i think that we're gonna definitely 100 percent get to all-time highs maybe not this year but eventually we're definitely going to get past this three dollar mark 
and it's going to shoot back up and it's going to get past it. And we're probably eight up. I have, you know, somewhere around five to seven dollars eventually. Not anytime soon, though. ICP looks fantastic. Uh, ICP hit a quick local high of around, I think it was, yeah, it was six dollars and twenty cents. Remember, I was screaming up the hills at three dollars and like seventy cents. You know, not I don't ever give out financial advice, but I give out my opinion and what I was doing at the time. And at around three dollars and seventy cents, I was like, I'm buying in, I'm buying in. Remember making this this channel right here. And then, you know, just watching it. And I actually bought back in, I think around this area, not back in, but I bought more when we took this, this drop right here. And then, you know, just added to the bag. ICP is another project that I, I uh, honestly believe in. I think that they have a lot going for them and eventually will be a big player in this cryptocurrency ecosystem that we all come to love. As far as ICP, next round of resistance will be probably um let's see here i would say somewhere around that seven dollar mark will be some some key uh resistance and then we're looking at somewhere around 720 and 750 so around in the seven dollar marks you know if we could blow by one of these like nothing but eventually some one of these marks are going to be some big spot of resistance that we're going to have to try to you know tackle and we'll probably retest it multiple times and then after that, we're looking at around nine dollars. And then from there on, nine dollars, maybe nine fifty. That's basically going to be there. But once we beat that nine fifty mark, it's like Bitcoin. It had such a big drop that we're going to be looking at some big numbers, like fourteen dollars, seventeen dollars. You know, fifteen dollars is going to be a big mark. All these are going to be really big marks. But I mean, fifteen dollars would be you know fantastic, and it will be because eventually. ICP will make it there. So point of the story is, guys, is everything looks looks great. We have the Fed meeting coming up. We're looking for a quarter basis point increase. And then, you know, from there on, we're, we're going to be listening to the talk. Remember, you want to listen to the talk and we want to hear that the Feds might be thinking of a, uh, some kind of a, a Fed pause then the following round after this one coming up. That will help the market out very, very, very much. We have taxes coming out. A lot of um, liquidity is going to be uh, getting, you know, in people's pockets. They are hurting right now, you know, with a lot of things. Inflation still is high, so I don't see, you know, a lot, of, maybe not as much money as normally when taxes and stuff like that gets put out that are going to be put into the market. People might be holding on to it a little bit more, but. We could, that could just, you know, increase the, uh, the pump even more. So we'll leave it there. I hope you guys have a great Sunday. Check out my next video after this. It's going to be on small caps. We'll uh, definitely review all the small cap coins. And again, like I've said before, if you guys have any suggestions, any coins you want me to look at as far as uh, checking out like what I, what I, my opinion is rejections and support levels for any kind of projects, let me know. Make sure you guys put it in the comments, like, if you're not already, subscribe so you guys can get these instant videos. I appreciate everything. Thank you, guys.